Hi, in this episode, we're going to take three super hot pepper plants. We're going to breed them together, creating a new pepper variety. Hopefully, this pepper will be even hotter and more colourful than the peppers we started off with. I'm excited. Let's do it. Hi there, welcome to Welsh Chili, the channel where you can follow our journey setting up a hot sauce company. We'll also give you information about growing, preserving and cooking with super hot peppers. Before we get down to it, can you just hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and that'll let YouTube know that you want to see more of our videos. It'll also give you a notification when we release our next one. So essentially what we're going to do here today is we're going to use the Dragon's Breath pepper plant as the host, uh, that's a very, very hot pepper. And then we're gonna try and cross it with two other super hot pepper plants. Um, the first being a Carolina Reaper yellow, and the second one is a purple ghost. So pepper plants are self-pollinating. Uh, what this means is they can pollinate themselves. So they've got both the female and the male parts in a pepper flower. So it contains the ovaries and the pollen and if you shake a pepper plant then the pollen will fall onto the stigma travel down the style and pollinate the ovule within the ovaries so we must ensure that no pollen from the plant itself gets onto the stigma before we introduce pollen from another plant onto it well how do we do that you might think well we have to catch the flower before it opens yeah but if we catch the flower before it opens how do we get pollen onto the stigma well, um, we use one of these. I'll uh, show you how to use one of these later on. But uh, for now, we need to get some pollen off the other two plants. So I'm going to use one of these little test tubes to catch the pollen in. So all you do is you uh, put the test tube underneath the flowers and then uh, you give the flowers a little bit of a tap. So I'll do this to a number of flowers until I have enough pollen to work with. There you go, you see the little yellow dust inside the tube there? Well, that's the pollen. Now I'll show you how to breed peppers with that pollen. When attempting to get a good pepper cross, you need to choose a flower that hasn't opened yet, but is nearly there. It's just about to open. Now uh, this one right here is a good candidate. So I'll uh, pop the little diagram up again and tell you what I'm going to do. So first I'm going to remove all the petals and then underneath the petals you'll see the stamen and connected to the stamen you've got the anthers. Now this is where the pollen is created. So to stop the plants from pollinating the chili pepper itself, we're going to remove all of these so that we only have the stigma left. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use my little trusty scissors and pull all these petals off. Right, so I've removed the petals and um, as you can see in there uh, is the stamen with anthers on it. And um, we want to remove these but being careful about the middle part in there. Um, that's where the stigma is and we don't want to cut the stigma. Right, let's go ahead and do that.
So there we go, we've removed the anthers and the petals and as you can see there's the stigma at the end. So what we need to do is uh, take a Q-tip or an earbud like this and dip it in the pollen and then rub the pollen on the end of this little stigma here. Okay, so I've loaded my Q-tip up with pollen and now I'm just going to rub it on the end of the anther here. You only need a little bit. Now the next step we take to make sure that no other pollen gets to that pepper and it's only the pollen that we've put onto it that pollinates it is we stick a little bag on it. So um, the pollen we just used was from a ghost chili and it was a purple ghost so I've marked this bag here with uh, DB for dragon's breath, cross and then PG for purple ghost. So all we do is we pop that bag over the pepper flower like this and then uh, we seal it up on both sides. So that's all there is to it and um, what I'll do is I'll do uh, about three to four flowers with each uh, cross pollination. So I'll take pollen from the yellow Carolina Reaper and I'll pollinate three of them and uh, do the same, cover them with bags and I'll do three of the purple ghost as well. So if you were a little bit worried before you saw this video about how to cross peppers, I hope now that you've learnt a little bit, you're a little bit more relaxed. I can't wait to see how the pepper cross turns out. Hopefully it's multicoloured and it should be super hot. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, can you just hit that like button and that'll let YouTube know that you want to see more videos like this. And if you were creating a new pepper variety, which chilli peppers would you cross? Would it be a super hot pepper with a sweet pepper or would you go down the same route as me and cross a super hot with another super hot. I'd love to know which varieties you'd cross as well. So um, can you just give me a little comment down below and uh, let me know how you'd go about crossing your peppers. So we'll see you on the next video. But remember, if you're going to go hot, go super hot.